Hare Krishna! Here we are with Sachi Sutta Prabhu and we're here in Hilo, Hawaii, Big Island. And Sachi's been doing book distribution since how long? Uh, well, it's hard to say, but uh, more or less about something like it would be equivalent to like three years, something like that. And where were you doing book distribution before Hawaii? Um, in New York mostly, and a little bit in Costa Rica. Um, can you tell us why you do book distribution and what that means? Um, it's like a, more or less uh, trying to give education to people about Krishna, the spreading the knowledge of Krishna um, through the disciplic succession following our spiritual master, Srila Prabhupada. Awesome. And are there certain books that you like to give out more than other, other Prabhupada books? Um, no, actually, I'm not at all uh, biased about the books. I, I, I like them all, and uh, I, I try to give as much variety as possible, but uh, Unfortunately, right now, not, not too many people are interested, so I, I give smaller books to start, and if people uh, uh, become interested, then I, you know, then I, I ask them would they like a, a different book, like a Bhagavad Gita, like that. Because uh, not, not, not many people are very much interested right now, anyway. So what's your technique? I mean, people are walking down the street, they're busy, they're shopping, they want food. Um, what do you do to stop them and get them to even pay uh, attention or, you know, how people get annoyed by people, they have their preconceived ideas about what it means, you know, to wear an orange robe and... Yeah. <laughs> so what's your technique of well, I, connecting I, with people? I learned the hard way um, that, that to push something on someone, they really won't care for it, so I just kind of go with, with what someone wants and uh, I offer them the book and, and I don't really say very much, I say Hare Krishna and if they take a book I ask would they like to give a donation and uh, if they're willing to give a donation they sometimes give something and then, um, and then if they seem interested I, I get a chance to preach a little bit about the books and whether they would like to uh, get a, a different book like a Bhagavad Gita or a nice, you know, nice books like that, like Krishna book or Bhagavad Gita, or some kind of nicer book besides the little pamphlets we hand out. And um, and then I also get a chance to encourage them to take part in this movement a little bit. I get to to preach a little bit, you know, because most people don't want to hear me for more than about maybe an hour at the most. <laughs> and that's like that's like an extreme circumstance. So. You know, most people can take about 15 minutes and they're, they've had enough, you know, they heard enough uh -huh. what I have to say. Okay, and then um, here's the last question. You could be giving out Harry Potter books or something, so why Prabhupada's books? Uh, it's a good question, you know, there's a, there's a lot of good material out there, you know. There's, there's stuff in the mode of goodness, no doubt. There's a lot of good knowledge in the world um, that can help us materially, but, but uh, if we want to transcend this, this world and, and uh, get proper guidance of the spiritual world and, and taking shelter of the Supreme Lord Krishna, then we have to uh, uh, understand through, through disciplic succession, through a spiritual master uh, like Srila Prabhupada, and then everything becomes clear and it's not a, a, like a guess or something. Uh -huh. uh, more or less like when we're in the mode of goodness we acquire knowledge, but uh, it, it's not exactly transcendental or, or transcendental would mean to know about Krishna. So that's what the goal of life is, to know about Krishna. And Prabhupada just reveals uh -huh. Krishna like better than anybody. Yeah, he, he, there's no doubt Krishna, Krishna chose him to reveal uh, Krishna himself and, uh, and Prabhupada took it serious and, and um, 
he did it in the right way, in a loving way, which is what, what more than any, anyone could want, you know. So, of course, the Lord must have been very pleased with his service. Sweet. Any last notes? <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I got that out. Any last, <laughs> last notes or comments uh, or anything? Yeah, chanting Hare Krishna is very important. It's very, very important. So what are we going to do right now for a while? Hare Nam. Yeah, uh, Lord Chaitanya recommended that, that we don't just chant Hare Krishna by ourselves, but we eventually come to congregate and chant the Holy Name for the benefit of everyone. So uh, I, I feel myself uh, uh, that that's also very much important to me, you know, that I agree with Lord Chaitanya 100%. It's very important to uh, chant congregationally. Even if it's two people and a toddler. Yeah. All right. Thanks. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna.